pretzel version that hopefully hasn't been butchered by this fucking travesty of goddamn thing. And again, I'm more of like a Microsoft fanboy than a Sony fanboy. Not that it really matters. I like both kind of, you know, interchangeably, but shit, dude, like straight up, that was a god awful fucking stupid piece of shit. This is already jiving better. Like we are like 10 seconds into this. We still got our Sarlians. Oh, and all my fucking worlds are here. See, I was all like, look, 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 look how, and I've, I've paid for most of these. Most of these are ones I bought. Like I bought like most of these. Can I like, where is my, uh, where is it? Where's the, 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 the one I was using last time though? The, uh, where to go? Oh, here it is. It's in there, I'm sure. I do like the natural one. That one's closer to like, I guess like a true Minecraft experience, but I really like this one because it makes the weapons look different. Like the the gold sword looks different from the iron sword, looks different from the diamond sword, looks different from the whatever sword. So it, it makes shit look different and the crossbows look cool. So, see, look, we got like a bajillion more fucking modes here. So yeah, I'm not in VR. The, the, well, I mean, I'm in VR, but like I'm just kind of looking at, you know, shit. It's not like wrapping around the VR thing. We're gonna do this. Uh, more options. Aha! And we got our seed thing. Though I don't think it's gonna. Let me see if I click on it. Will it autofill? Because I think. What was the first digit? Was it one or was it six? It was one. And then followed by six. Find a balanced seed. If you're creating a world with a random seed, this option looks for a world with a good mix of biomes. All of one biome. Yeah, we want a balanced world. We don't want amplified. See, this is what happened last time. It, it def defaults you to large. Da, 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 da. Can I change it without like destroying the thing? Let's go medium. Biome scale. Select a biome scale to change the amount of world space each biome will take up. Larger scale means fewer but larger biomes. I kind of want... Yeah, let's just do medium. Fire spreads, TNT explodes. Dude, this is so much better. So much better. <laughs> like, I can't even, like, understate how much better everything is. And we're in the goddamn menu. <laughs> it's already so much better. <laughs> like, even the VR aspect of it is better. God damn it. This is so much better. Um, we are going to do this. I think that's what the other one was saying in the, the stupid bedrock mode w with the, the cheat chest or whatever. Bonus chest makes me feel better about it, not rather than cheat chest. So we got our seed number pl place, and I think if I press X, game options. Here we go. Let's do some of this. Host privileges. Host can toggle their ability to fly. Uh, God, we're not doing any of that. This is going to be survival mode. None of that stupid uh, mob griefing. Prevents... Again, I, I haven't played Minecraft since like 2018 or 2019, like a long ass time ago. And I, I never got like super into it. Hmm... I mean, if creepers don't fuck your shit up, then it's kind of like, what's the point? I mean, I guess they can still kill you, but... I think we want all this. Again, except immediate respawn, because again, I want, like, the, the time to contemplate my fucking failures while I'm, you know, waiting for the... <laughs> waiting to regenerate... The, the, see, like, the only thing I'm not liking so far, the only thing I'm missing from the Bedrock Edition is that it, the show um, coordinates or whatever. Because I want to be able to find that spot again, and if I do find it, I want to write down the coordinates or have some way to find it again. But this is all looking good, as my voice cracks. Um, yeah, I mean, I think last time I did it, it didn't have this option. Like, when I originally made this world that the seed number is based off of. 
I don't think it had the the fine balanced thing though, but I kind of like that because again, if they if there was any kind of update from when I stopped playing it to now, I want all the biomes to be represented. I want kind of all of it. I don't know if that'll change again the um terrain. I think if I hit back, it won't fuck me like Bedrock did. We're gonna do that. Yep. See, it just kind of kept all the settings. I hope. I'm kind of tempted to do easy because, again, I just fucking blow at playing games in general. And we're going to stay with Gravy Land, even though it didn't, you know, keep that. All right. So I remember getting bees, like, before, uh, the updates dropped for this version. You know, the better version. Actually, see, this is already better. And sure, there's, like, black borders around, because, again, it's not in true VR mode, but this is already, like, more VR-ish than the other fucking version was. And the ground isn't fucking vibrating. And I didn't have to plot out a billion controls. We are going to do this, though, real quick. Uh, help and options, controls. Oh, and it's inverted by default, so I didn't have to do it and bitch about it. Congratulations. So all I'm looking for is how to... I am going to have to remember, like, the, the basic shit. And I don't think you can sprint in this one, either. Oh, yeah, you can. You totally can. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Um, I, I guess. We want... Hang on, I'm looking for a way to turn off the crosshairs. How do you turn off crosshairs? Does anybody know? Because I'll totally be able to hear you telling me. I mean, I guess I could dis disable the entire heads-up display, but there is, like, information that I would like to have while I do this. Under clouds. I did have some skins. I didn't, like, look for one, because, again, I knew I was going to be doing first-person, uh, first like, um, faux VR or whatever. View bobbing. I might turn that off depending on if it makes me nauseous or not. User interface. I swear, like, it would be an user interface, if anything. We're going to leave tooltips on because, again, I'm a dumbass and I don't know anything. I don't know what classic crafting is. Uh, let's see if we can change the... What was it? Heads up display size. Okay, I know we're going in circles here. Hang on. Yep, that's fine. What would it be under? Graphics? No. Nope. Okay, that's enough of that. I know you guys are probably getting bored. It's like, what the fuck is this dude doing? Just literally trying to... So yeah, I want to get rid of that fucking crosshair. Ah, shit. I forgot I turned on the... There it is. Okay. Okay, so squares like to activate and touch shit. Oh, nope, it's crafting. Right? That's what I just did. How do I? Okay. Okay, left. <laughs> left trigger is activate shit. I don't know what any of this is. We're taking all of it because we got nothing.
taking these. Kind of take to, tempted to take the chest, too. Okay, so I'm trying to remember, because I think I could be dead wrong. I could have swore that the, um... Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's bothering me. We're gonna change the HUD size, I think, to one to make it smaller, because that shit is fucking huge. Okay, yeah, that's way better. Um... I think the starting area, like, starts you in the same spot. So if I could remember from the very first time I played this game which direction I headed in, I might be able to find my, uh, my little alcove. Because where I built my home, it was such a nice spot. Again, I got, like, attached to it. What's funny is I didn't even... I think I may have had a dog, but I really didn't, like, have any, like, companions or pets or anything that I got attached to. It was literally just the area where I built my house, I was a huge, like, again, that's, that's what I got all emotionally attached to. There's a wolf there. Ugh. Yep, I should probably have organized my shit better. I'm trying to remember which direction I, I headed in initially. Oh my god, whoa. And I do remember I liked, like, everything about this world space that it generated like it had like a good mix of like mountains or snow again other than the fact that i picked the large map and it was just chaotically fucking huge so i remember i was more coastal area than this it was a little bit more open there's more water but i remember i came back to this spot like i think <sighs> i wish again i think yeah i'm gonna have to make a compass that's gonna be like priority one because i always like in my mind, this is north now. Why? I don't know. Based on purely nothing. So this would be west. That would be east. And then this would be south. And I think my house was either south by, like, southeast or... Or south by southwest, sorry. Or somewhere, like, in this direction. It was, like, back this way. Because I think that's where the water opens up. But we're just going to adventure. I mean, this isn't hardcore mode or anything. I don't even think this thing supports a hardcore... Ah, hardcore mode. Jesus, my uh, Midwestern accent makes it really hard to say hardcore. Hardcore. Oh, yeah, the hardcore there. The hardcore mode there. But, um... Shit, we're just gonna go. We're going. I don't know if I should be picking this shit up. I mean, it does look kind of, like, goofy, like, cartoony. But that's not, like, a bad thing. I mean, it's fucking Minecraft. I mean, install a shader and make it look realistic why would you do that why why would you do that but i do like the um the fantasy mode retexture thing i remember i don't remember this ever happening to any other youtuber or i watch play minecraft maybe i'm just stupid but like sometimes if you like touch a certain kind of plant it like damages you yep it's those fucking things god damn it that irritated the shit out of me. And I think even if you, like, rode the the horse, fucking you would just, like, tap those and just get completely fucking savaged by the fucking plants. Though, if this is, again, maybe I should have left my map size on large, just so that way it would have been, like, an exact one-to-one. -one. Everything's in the exact same spot and distance as the, uh... Again, the original game I created. Oh, even these ones without the berries fucking attack you. Well, that's irritating. But, um... I remember the, the this death field of berries being close to my house. But now I'm starting to question my direction. Because I remember I had to travel a certain distance away to get to these. Same with the, the mountains I was looking at earlier. Those were familiar to me. I just So I think I picked the wrong direction to start heading in to find my house again i was kind of going again just based on nothing um south by southwest and i think i need to go like just pure south now which i don't know which direction that is because i kind of fucked everything up already let's try see if i can get higher get like a vantage point I wonder how many of those settings I initially picked I can undo if I need to. And I might, like, restart this depending. Again, like, um... Okay, this is looking more promising. Like, see right there? There's there's some ocean there. It looks open up. Unless I'm just running out of, uh... 
the render distance is just running out. But I do remember I had to hike through like a forest and then there was like some coastal sandy beaches I started hitting and then my um where I built my house was basically like right at the foot of a big mountain that had like a like a little river outlet and it was really nice because I could fish the river there was the mountain was right there so I could mine into it the it had like the uh the outlet would take me straight out to the sea see this is looking more friendly I remember my first playthrough I was going like just straight past like farmland it was all friendly everything was all nice until I hit the the sea so we're just gonna go and also i'm gonna sprint because this is taking too long in that first playthrough though i didn't find out that you could sprint until like you know 16 hours into the game i didn't even know it was like an option i thought you just had to to go slow okay here's some more death bushes don't fucking touch those See, I don't remember finding the death bushes for a while either. Like, again, it was, like, all peaceful. Nothing was hurting me. Nothing was attacking me. I made my house relatively quickly. This looks vaguely familiar. So, yeah, we're just going to keep heading in one direction. Until I can find that. And I do remember I did venture, like, a good ways away from where it, uh started you off at here's some mountains and again like it was again at the like the foot of like a mountain so we're gonna see if i can find that okay i'm also gonna recenter the thing there we go so now we're just we're just going through the plains You have like a fatigue thing? Do you run out of sprint? But oh man, it's so nice to not have the fucking flashing ass seizure inducing goddamn that was like taking me into like a fucking uh I don't even know what you would call it, like a I was having like a <laughs> some kind of like Space Odyssey two thousand one existential fucking hallucination generation kind of fucking thing so this is actually again it's like there's i mean again i put 20 hours into that previous world which again i, I know is like chump change in terms of minecraft playthrough hours or whatever but to me it was a lot of time and i spent a lot of time in the world and got attached to it and a lot of this is ringing familiar to me just again i gotta find that exact fucking spot I'm getting hungry, too. I might kill that chicken. Oh, that's more brutal in first person. <laughs> in first person with the VR headset on. <laughs> that made me feel a lot worse than it ever did in, uh, uh, you know, looking at it on the TV screen. Which I guess is the other nice thing about this is that, again, if I ever want to continue this, but if the VR makes me sick or if I'm just not, if I'm too lazy to do it, I'm not feeling it, I can just straight up, like, fucking play this in, uh, on the TV screen and go back and forth without having to do anything. Which I guess is one of the benefits of it not being VR supported. But again, it looks really... Like, if you told me that this was VR thing, I'd be like, yeah, straight up. Again, you look to the sides there, you can see the borders, but it fills up the screen so much that it basically is... Ow, ow, ow. Son of a bitch. Um, how do I use? How do I consume? Is it left I don't remember left trigger being that much of a fucking important pivotal kind of like do everything kind of button but again what the fuck do I know um I don't like how many death bushes there are there seems like an overabundance of death bushes which is not to my liking also it seems like it's getting dark already so we might have to burrow into a fucking wall or something of this mountain and hide for a while. Oh my god! Yeah, that's really irritating. I wonder if you can get, like... Maybe even just, like, wearing, like, shoes or something makes it so that doesn't happen. That would be kind of cool. Ow, ow. Yeah, I saw it. Right as I was walking into it, it was too late to deviate or 
you know, do anything that would have prevented that from happening. There's just no option. Just had to walk right into it. I love the peaceful music, though. This is looking really familiar. Like, I'm just, like, again, this is, like, some kind of muscle memory thing. But watch, I say that, and we're never going to be able to find that spot where I built my house ever. <laughs> Ow. All right, we're just going to swim. I was trying to walk around. Whoa. Can you switch to third person? I mean, I assume since it's not VR supported, what was the button to go? Anybody know offhand, like, what the button to go to third person is? The D-pad does nothing. So I just pressed all the D-pad buttons. Okay, so that's crouch, a.k.a. sneak. Which I don't know why they included that. I mean, is there, like, stealth kill mechanics in Minecraft that I don't know about? Or is it just the option? I know some people like to do the, the bowing thing, the where they click crouch or whatever, but when you can't see it, when you're not in third person, I don't know what the what the point is. There's probably some kind of mechanic for crouching and or sneaking. What the fuck if I know if it, what, what it is or what purpose it serves. Yeah, how many of these fucking bushes are there? I'm sure if I eat this shit, it's going to poison me. Like, I'm just killing it so I don't walk through it by accident, that's all. Even that looks familiar, like, dude, because there were certain points where, like, I almost was, like, about to break down and cry because I got so lost in my fucking Minecraft world before it fucking exploded, but, oh god, we were going to get our fucking asses kicked. This is bad. It's like, yeah, what happened to picking one, one direction and sticking to it? Oh, fuck, we went north. Because I remember the swamps were north of where my house was, so we went the complete opposite direction of where I was attempting to go. And yeah, I'm going to fucking die in like two seconds. Though I think what's going to happen is it's going to respawn me at the uh, the block. And I think I'm a bitch, and I put the uh, keep your inventory when you die. Because again, this is... I'm not good at this game. This is going to be a clusterfuck. I need every kind of like little handicap I can get, other than... I, I kind of like the damage. I know you're probably asking, like, well, why didn't you put it on easy mode? Like, literal easy mode. You had the option. You decided to do normal anyway. It's because I think the difficulty literally just, like, dictates, like, how often you get hungry, how much damage, like, impacts do to your body. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Did I get a compass when I did the thing? Here's my... So what is this? I know this is just a recipe list, but if I can't build it, what's the point? Oop, oop, I made sticks. So I guess you don't need, like, a crafting bench to make some stuff? Oh, that's right. You can make, like, torches and stuff on the go, which is good when you're, like, spelunking and shit. I'm not sure why. I like keep like it, uh, it's probably me it's probably not like the the system it's like purely human error but i keep like ever so slightly adjusting my fantastic oh nope i didn't turn the thing on we have to restart the whole fucking thing yeah because i really want that uh be able to keep your inventory when you die thing on Yeah, I think we're going to have to redo it. Um. Let's look at this really quick. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I think that's what we were already. Sweet. The conquistadore. All right. Okay, well, that was a weird, um, let's just call that the prologue. That was, a. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the hell that was. But I'm going to go pee real quick. We finally got the ball rolling. We realized that the, uh, um, what is it? The, uh, Bedrock Edition or whatever that supports VR is a complete flying piece of shit. So we're going to turn on some easy mode options. We're going to make it so I keep my inventory when I die because I'm a bitch and I need that handicap. And then uh, I'm going to pee. I'm going to change the world size to large so it's an exact one-to-one. 
replication of ye old world and uh now you know we'll try a different direction though i don't remember how far i walked last time i remember okay so here's what i remember before so this is like i hate when people like retroactively like oh yeah i knew what the result was going to be now that the result has already played out that shit annoys the shit out of me so what happened was after i did the cheat box because i did the bonus box on the first playthrough playthrough two i picked one direction and i went and what i remember was i went past a little bit of mountains then there was like open like plains or fields i would guess i would i guess you'd call it like some kind of like open fields and then i hit like there was a bunch of coastline and a little bit of desert off to the left of where whatever direction i was walking there's like desert off to the left but i didn't go there because i didn't want to go into the desert yet so i just kept heading south and then i was hitting like coastal mountains i guess you would say like there was water and it kind of narrowed out there wasn't a lot of land mass but it was like interconnected by like small strips of land but there was still um trees and stuff and then there was like a, a big ish mountain i found bigger mountains after that but at the time it was like the biggest mountain i found and i was like i'm just gonna build there was like a river inlet leading out to the sea and then there was like the foot of the mountain and i basically built my house right at the foot of the mountain right off the the um the riverbed i guess so it was like right on the water at the foot of the mountain and the the mountain was tall enough where the top had snow at the top of it so we're gonna see if i can find that again and again we're gonna turn on the keep inventory option i just i really gotta pee so we'll be back <laughs> 